so glad you could join us. Come, come down to the pallet if you don't mind. Now, I want to show you something. I may have mentioned in some of the previous shows that we're going to do a limited pallet. It may look like I've got a lot of paint out here, but I've put a couple of each one of these out, and we'll explain why. And I've got three white, and you know uh, that if you've been watching the show. Uh, I want to keep one really clean. Well, the same thing here. Now, about everything in life is made up, and believe it or not, of four colors. There's only four colors. And the colors yellow, red, blue, and it black, black. Actually, I've got Payne's gray here, which is close enough. And I've put two of each one of them so I won't contaminate some of the others. Now, with these four colors, we can mix every color that we need. Normally, we use about eight colors because it's, it's a little bit easier to just do the show that way. But, for instance, I want to show you, uh, 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 well, a simple one to do. Let's grab a little white, put right here. If we take a little blue, you've got a real pretty pale blue. Now, you can mix that with other colors. You put a little gray to, to hew it down a little bit. Now, if you want to make a little brown, you take a little red. Let's put it right here. You take a little of the blue. I'm going to take a little more red because I got a little too much blue. But anyhow, I'll show you right on the edge here. Real pretty brown. And you make it darker or lighter, and you can put a little black in it if you want to. But you see, that makes a real pretty little brown. So that'll give you an idea of what we're going to do today. One other thing I'll show you before we start. We've got no green on the palette. So I'm going to grab a little bit of blue, come right out here. So with the yellow and blue, we've got a pretty green. And so on and so forth. Okay, let's go over to the canvas and we'll start a little bit of uh, work on our, on our picture. Now we're going to do something, I think, it, sort of simple today because of we're using limited colors. First of all, let me get a, a whole lot of this white. Now, I don't want any green in this, but I do want some blue in it. Okay, that's a, sort of a pretty color. Let me grab a little brush here. Actually, I'll get a little one-inch brush here. And we'll start with the sky, as we normally do. Now we've got our canvas treated a little bit. And I'm going to show you a little trick here that they say white's not a color, but we got a little of it on there. We like to use it. But actually, if you wanted to, you could not use the white and use the canvas for the white. And you could come in here like this with and put your clouds in by just leaving them in there. But we're probably not going to do that because we've, we've got some white on our palette. So I'm going to pull this on down a little bit and blend it just a little bit. Now, I'm, I'm spreading this into the white a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that, I want it sort of to be faded. And in the end, we may come back and put some really white, white highlights there. Mm. 
Now we've only used one color on the palette. Of course, we mixed some white with the blue. Now I'm not sure what we'll paint today. I want to keep it a little bit simple because I want to show you how to uh, use very limited palette. I hope you're painting with us. And if if you are, you can see that you can only use, you can use four colors to create about everything. They say white's not a color, but sometimes I think maybe they, they missed it there. <laughs> now, I want to put a few little mountains in the background, and I want them to be uh, sort of bluish color, but I, I want them a little more uh, subdued than that. So I'm going to go up and take a little bit of the Payne's Gray, put right here. I'm going to take a little of this blue. That's way, 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 way too dark, but it's a pretty color. It's sort of a gray blue, or a blue gray. Now the mountains way in the background are usually a lot lighter than the ones in the foreground. Now if you think you've about got the color, you can take and hold it down. That's just about what we want. I may want it just a touch lighter. So I'll grab a little of my white. And you don't have to mix that up totally. Let's see what that'll do right there. I'm going to grab another brush here. I'm going to grab a, let's grab a flat. I'm going to rinse, I've got oil in them, so I'm going to rinse it out before I start. Now what I've got here is just some uh, paper towels to wipe my brush on and sort of keep it clean. Now I'm going to go into that blue-gray color. Now I'm, I'm actually keeping this uh, sort of light and, and I'm using the canvas for some of my color. If you notice the white's coming through and how I'm doing that, I'm, I'm actually sort of dry brushing. I probably don't have to put another mount, but we'll put one more in there. Okay, I'm going to rinse that brush out. Real good. Now I'm going to blend the bottom of my uh, mountains a little bit. Sort of like that. Now, the way I'm pulling them now, instead of going straight across, I'm pulling them at an angle, which will give you the illusion of shadows. And what you can do, if you want to start some highlights, you can go into your light blue or you can go into your white. And pull that down a little bit. Now most of these will probably be covered up, but we want a little bit of them showing. Now I've dipped my brush in in the white there a little bit, just to give them a little bit of highlight, not much. Now we're going to make a, uh, 
a ridgeway in the background here. I'm going to clean that brush out and drop it right over here. Okay, let's grab a... little fan brush. We're going to take a small one. I'm going to rinse it out a little bit. Now, in this area, I want to get a little bit darker. So this color here is just a little lighter than what I need, but this right here may be what we want. Let's see if it is. If it's not, we're going to, we probably will darken this up just a little bit, but let's just see how it looks. Now this is our background trees, so we want them to stand out a little bit, but we don't want them to uh, stand out so much as to take away from our whole painting. And I'm going to bring those on down a little bit, and I'm just actually I'm show you, I'm just pushing my brush into that color, filling the end of it up. And I'm just making little rough trees in the background. And I'll probably come right in here and put some also. And as you get to the bottom, they're a little bit filled in a little bit more, in other words. Now, what I've created here is a little mountain and a mountain behind a mountain, if you, if you see what I've done there. Now, the way I'm making my trees, I probably should explain that a little bit better to you. Let me go right in here. I'm actually just making the trunk like this, just to make sure that I get it in the right position. Then I'm coming down, and I'm taking the brush and just taking it and actually moving it back and forth. In other words, sort of like that. Now I'm going to put a few more on over in here. We've got two or three different uh, areas here. And by leaving that light in there, it, it makes our trees show up real, really good. Now I'm going to put a couple of solid ones in here. If you notice, I made this a little higher, so that's sort of coming down into this little mountain on this side. And I'm just taking the edge of the brush, just the corner of it, and as I come down to the bottom, I'm laying it down a little bit more. Now I could go on over to the edge and do that, but most of all of this is going to be covered up anyhow, so it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do though is just lightly pull this. And I hope you can see that on TV because what that's doing, that's giving you exactly the way the, the hillside is, is laying. This and I'm going to do the same way. We're using limited colors today, and plus limited brush strokes, actually, because we're creating the areas 
with just a few few strokes, you see. Now you see we've got, actually we've got a pretty good little painting started already and we've only used a couple of colors. I'm going to clean that brush out. Now I'm going to mix a little uh, darker color up to come right in this area here because I want this to be highlighted a little bit more and we'll do that a little bit later. Now this can be, uh, at this point, it looks like a snow scene. It could be a snow scene, but you could uh, liven it up if you wanted to. I'm going to mix a little brown here. And I'm going to, actually, the reason I'm, I, if you notice I put a little Payne's gray there. I want it to be sort of dark. But I'm mixing it with blue, paints, gray, and red. And we've got a real dark brown. Now I'll show you another little thing that you can do to lighten it up a little bit if you want to. Actually put a little more red in it. If you notice right on the edge, see, this that's a lighter brown. But if you want it a little bit lighter, you could put a little yellow in it. Can you see the difference there? And that makes a real light brown. We're trying to show you today how to mix some colors this will probably help you no matter if you use an expanded palette, but just mixing these colors, you know, should help you uh, a, a lot, I guess, when you go to uh, doing a painting. Now I'm just going to put some dark color down here at the bottom. Uh, we can do that with any brush. i tell you what, let me use this little brush, one inch brush here. Hold on just a minute. Let me put something here. This will keep it off of the bottom of my board. Now this color doesn't uh, make a lot of difference other than we just want dark color. to make our light color show up. Oops, I got some blue in that one, didn't I? I guess we might make this a snow scene. <laughs> Let me wipe that out a little bit. I didn't mean to get that in there. But that's okay. I wanted it a little bit lighter, sort of like that. Now I'm going to blend that in just a little bit here. It doesn't have to be blended too good. I just want it a little bit smoother in areas. Now 
Now I'll show you what we can do on our background color. Uh, now if you notice we've got a cold area in the background, but this is sort of a warm area up in here. Now we can change the background area a little bit. And we can do that, grab a little of my yellow, put right out here. I'm trying to keep one area of the color clean, the other area I'm mixing out of. Now that may be too dark, but what we've done, we took a little yellow and a little blue and made some green. I'm going to take that same little brush. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit in the background. I believe it needs to be just a touch darker than that. So let's let's mix up. Uh, I'm going to put a little more blue with it. If you notice, I'm not mixing a lot of color. I'm just mixing a little bit, which will probably be plenty for our purpose. Now, I'm not sure that's dark enough. If it's not, you can reach up and grab a little bit of the Payne's Gray. Now, I'll show you what I want to do here. I want to actually... create a warmer painting. So I'm going to cover up a lot of that uh, that color back there. And that's about the color I want now. You probably can't tell it now, but what I'm doing, I'm warming the, the painting up by using greens, probably use some yellows and reds. I sort of like most of that in there, but I'm going to put a little bit over here. Now a little bit of that stuff is showing through in the background, which is what we wanted. Now I'm not sure how far we'll go here, but I'll put one more taller tree in there. And I'll pull the bottom down a little bit. Now this color I'm just barely going to put a little green back in here. And I'm just pulling that down. I'm going to pull this on down into the uh, brown that we made. And I'm just walking that color on over to the edge over here. And what's happened when I went over this brown color, it's made it really, really dark in here, which is what we want. I've just blended that in and we've actually created a, it could be a, a river, a lake, or a path. I'm not sure what it'll be yet. But anyhow, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight some of those uh, green trees. And we're going to do that with a lighter color. So I just pick up a little yellow. 
I'll go right into my green that we mixed up. And we'll see if that's light enough. It might need to be just a touch lighter. Let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, let's try that. I'm just gonna use the same little brush. That's not quite light enough yet. It probably would be down here. If you notice these little areas that I'm putting in here, that creates the way the land is flowing down towards this uh, lake or pathway or whatever that's going to be. Okay, I need to make that a little lighter though for my highlights. So let's go back, get a little more yellow, come right in the edge of that. And see if that's light enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm taking just the corner of the brush, but I'm sort of turning it, if you notice what I'm doing. And you can see a little, a little highlight in some of the trees in the background. And if you'll notice all the beautiful highlights we're getting in there. And one reason that's happening is I actually put a little thinner in the, uh, in the brush. Now, probably what we will do is come in here and put a really, really bright highlight in there. And if you see now, what we've changed, we've warmed the painting up. We've made it look more uh, like, it could be summer or, or early spring. Same over here now. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the tops of the trees just a little bit. The sun would not be hitting everywhere. I'm gonna grab a little of that yellow there. But we want it to touch the trees a little bit in different spots. Now, if I was to use that down here, you'd have a really, really a high, high visible highlights. We've got about one minute to go here. While we've got one minute, I want to show you a quick thing. And if you watched this before, you've probably seen this. I'm gonna grab my palette knife real quick. Now what you can do is you can come in here and put tree limb. Like so if you want to. Do a little, just a little bit on this side. And they're not, most trees are not very straight. And you put a lot of detail in just by running your knife around like that and picking up the color. What you're doing is really taking the color off. Okay, we've got to leave you for today, but come back next week and we'll work a little bit more on our painting. Hope you've enjoyed this series, and if you have, why, 
give us a holler and tell us about it. And if you want to buy one of our prints, why well, just call the number on your screen. Thank you so much. Goodbye. God bless. <laughs>